What up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about how to calibrate your monitor. Now a lot of people don't even know that this is an issue that you actually have to be on top of consistently if you do plan to edit photos, videos, or anything like that on your computer. You have to be constantly monitoring and making sure the colors on your monitor that you're seeing are going to be the same colors on other people's devices when they view your photos and or videos. So it's very important that your computer screen, your monitor is accurate as far as the colors that it's displaying to you when you are manipulating those colors and or color correcting photos or videos. If these colors are off, the colors I'm looking at on this monitor, if they're off even just a little bit, when I go to post that photo say on Instagram and somebody else on a different device views it, the colors aren't gonna be the same colors that I saw on my monitor when I edited it in the first place. When I, when I got it to that perfect color, the perfect color balance and I graded it for however long it took me to grade it and actually finish that photo or video when I actually export it and post it to social media and other people view it on their devices they're gonna see different colors and we don't want that right we want our monitors to be as clean as possible as accurate as possible not many people know this not many people talk about this they either edit with the colors and they don't really realize that they're different when they're exporting it or viewing it on different devices or they just get a new computer and they don't even deal with quick little calibration which you're gonna learn in this video here so that's the why now let's jump into the how how do we actually calibrate on monitor. Let's jump into it. So what you're going to need before you actually can proceed in this video and actually follow along with me is this thing right here. It's called an i1 Display Pro by X-Rite. So what this device does, it actually goes on the front of your monitor and it actually calibrates your monitor for you. I'm going to show you step by step of how to actually calibrate your monitor at home. So let's jump right into it. Let's open up the app and you'll first see the screen right here. Plug your device into your computer. Give it a second and you should see these pop up in a second. It went from the red to the green here. So now we can proceed. It might seem a little bit complicated at first, but it's very, very simple. And I'll walk you through it step by step. So you're gonna see this screen here, user mode, click on advanced. Just double check that the default display device is your exact device that you have. Mine is the eye display. First, we're gonna go to the left side over here. Under display, hit profiling, click on that. And then next, we're going to select the monitor that you want to calibrate. So as far as the first setting here, leave it on what it defaults to. The white point, leave it on the default. It should be good with that. Luminance, if it's not on 100 or 120, definitely switch it to 120. And then let's see, default here, 2.220 is good. You can skip all these. And then we're gonna go to the bottom right here, click next. And again, we can skip all this as well. I've tested it, it's not too noticeable, but essentially what you're doing here is you have three options, small, medium, and large. Essentially, it's how many patches it's gonna be measuring. And as you can see on the right side, is a lot more colors for the large version. Um, for the large patch set compared to the small. It's not too noticeable as far as, because I've tested small, medium, and large. It takes much longer time to do the large, obviously, because there are a lot more colors to be tested, but there's not much of a difference between the small, medium, and large. For the sake of this video, to save time, I'm gonna go with the small version so we can kind of blow right through this. But um, if you want to be very, very accurate and test a lot of different colors, you can go with the large. It just takes a little bit longer. So hit next here, and then see, we'll leave automatic display control off. Auto adjust brightness and contrast man uh, manually. Leave that checked on. And now we can hit start measurement. Okay, so now we get the directions on the screen. And I'm gonna show you actually from this side now. We're gonna take our device, obviously it's plugged in, and we're going to flip this little thing around. Expose the camera and put that camera in the middle of the screen. Just follow the directions on the screen. See them here. Just as make sure it's flush with the monitor. I've seen a lot of people do these kind of tests with all the lights on in the room. It's orange lights, it's a pink light over here, another pink light over here, an orange light in the background. They have a lot of different colors kind of coming in and hitting the monitor and they don't really notice or they're not really aware that those colors will affect the reading of this device. So you need to shut all the lights off. Let me do that right now. Oh, this is sick. I might start doing videos like this. So now that we've got all the lights turned off, I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna go through the process, checking the calibration. And here it just asked me to change the brightness on the screen just to get it between where it wants. It says adjust your um, display's brightness or backlight control until the measured luminance is as close as possible to the target. So, so we hit next on that and continue. So we're all done here. It's now telling us to flip this little camera around. Let's continue like this. All right, so we're gonna click next on the screen here. Click next at the top here and then measurements successfully completed, perfect. Click save to keep your measurement for future use. Yes, of course. So so now we're at the next screen. This, this screen's called ICC profile. So what you're doing here is just naming the actual profile names. Naming this is extremely important because now you know exactly when the last time you calibrated your monitor was. Um, so you're not confused. So name it, the date, ambient lighting monitor, definitely turn this off, oh my God. 
and then say profile. Cool. Profile save. Click OK. Sweet. So now you can see the monitor changed a little bit. You might not have noticed it. Now, if you're on a Mac, go to settings, go to displays, and then here, click on display settings. And then right here, you should see the new profile already selected, but just make sure it got selected if not. So, and boom, there we go. After doing this, you might even think that the calibrated profile is inaccurate. It's a very funny illusion that um, happens because you're so used to the colors that you've been staring at that when it changes to a true white point and the colors are actually accurate, you think they're inaccurate because you're so used to the other colors, the inaccurate colors, and you think those are accurate. It's very funny. A great way to check to see how off your colors were before. It's, it's pretty crazy. Now you won't be able to see this at home, but I'll describe it to you what's happening, right? So I'm on the newest calibration profile right here, as you can see, the 2602. Um, and I can see right now it looks very clean. Like my whites look white. Everything looks like it's pretty accurate, right? There's no, I can't tell if there's any hue differences or too much magenta, too much green, whatever it is. I'm gonna go back to the previous profile right here. And already I can see like a ton of magentas in the highlights. Just this one little difference. It wasn't, it's not too much, but right here in these like mid tones and highlights, and you can even see, you can even see it in these, this white little bar here too as well. But there's a, t there's a ton of magenta bleed, right? Tint to it. And then I go to the newest version, the newest calibration, that magenta is gone. And now it looks green when I first see it. But then as my eyes get accustomed to it, it looks normal. Looks So I can't stress how important this is to make sure you calibrate your monitors. Okay. So I've heard people say every two to three weeks you want to calibrate monitor. That's a little extreme. I would do it every one month or two. Especially if you are editing a lot of photos and you're color grading them and especially videos You want to make sure your monitors are very accurate very clean the, the white point is white, right? So if you open up the app called color sync utility, um, you'll see this little screen here Go down to user and then click on your newest profile and that's the pro that is the profile you just created You can see all the different colors and you can also um, compare it to previous version you had before. And then also you can compare it to full, or sorry, the Adobe RGB 1998 classic profile. So that is how to calibrate your monitor. I can't stress enough how important this is to do, especially if you're color grading your photos and or videos and posting a lot on social media. I can't tell you how many times my students, a student has asked me, why do my photos that on Lightroom on the computer look so different than on my phone when I post it? It looks way different. I'm not sure. I have no idea what's going on, All right? This is the number one reason why um, your monitor, your whatever it is, PC, Mac, looks different than the colors on your phone when you actually do see it on your phone, you post it. Another thing on the, on the iPhones, if you go to the control center um, and just click and hold on the brightness, you can see this little little thing pop up right here, right? You can see every, everyone's familiar with this little, little thing right here. You can raise and lower the brightness here. At the bottom, you'll see night shift and true tone you want to make sure night shift is off and true tone is actually off too true tone will, will change the color of the screen depending on the colors in the room it's very strange you do not want that especially and you don't want that with your monitor either and then night shift will obviously make it more orange and red during the night to lessen the blue um the blue light effect on your eyes and your brain so if you're posting on social media and you're worried about colors being different than your monitor make sure those two things are off when you are looking at it on different devices. All right, guys, so we went over what the i1 display x right is, how to use it step by step, how to calibrate it with no lights on the proper way, walked you through it step by step, and now we have a calibrated monitor that you can edit your photos and videos on and be very, very sure that the colors you're gonna be seeing on your monitor are the same colors you're gonna be seeing on other people's devices when you post them on social media. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. If you want more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also smash that like button. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.